All right, this is my quiz for plant diversity, non-vascular plants. Imagine you are a field botanist and come across an organism growing uh, in the Pacific Northwest. This region is known for having such high moisture with a wide diversity of plant life. Yeah, that's why um, it's known for its substances. Anyways, um. You suspect the organ because it grew so well. You suspect the organism it lynched by as many characteristics that look similar to a brophomite. Explain what method you would use to you, to determine an un, your unknown organism is a lynching and not a non-vascular plant. So first thing I do, you know, is I take some of it, uh, get T TLC, put it in a solvent mixture. Put it under some UV light and check for the fluorescent compounds, the brophomites. Um, so you know to tell to check if it's like a lynching or not. Um, to tell to kind of wonder if it's a brophomite. Um, what I do is take a thin layer, um, coming off from plants, and I'd also put that under UV light. You know, check it out. Um, see what I'm looking for. Now, two, draw the life cycle of a liverwort. Specifically, draw the representation structures that belong to each stage of its life, including genotype you know, and fourth generation. Include in your video, explain the life cycle and discuss the importance of water. Two, the reproductive success of plants. So, got it right here. So, you know, as you can see, you know, it starts out normal, right? And then you know, it starts out normal right here. And it goes up and cut it splits. So what you have is you have the um gamma lights and this four or five generation separating right here as you see in here's and here's. So you have it separating, and the um, the females. Uh, so the female sporadas are growing right here, and then you got the males. As you can see, uh, you're having the fem uh, the female sporadas uh, produce less, uh, produce more, and uh, produce the female organs as we go up here and move over move over here until eventually fertilize until we get up to this top stage and have fertilization come coming by and then as you can see it comes to comes back to one, uh to one right here as you can see it comes back to it comes back to one organism as after you got the embryo and then uh, after you got the embryo and then you got down here you know you got the zygote embryo and then comes into its adult life cycle and then, you know plant these things you know they're able to reproduce when they're young so after they grow and that's how you got that life cycle number three compare and contrast division bryphomate and arcrith how are they similar how are they different so with bryphomates um they have leaf shoots leaf spirally up uh uplifts uh, on the branch axis and they're brownish red and multicellular whereas amphiformula division is single flat has single flat knobs the leaf arrangement is an applicable and the hydrogen and the hydrogens in their uh, single cell similar similarities um don't have sex differentiated sports so you know those were you know, males so they're not they don't have sex differentiation spores and they reflect green pigments. Now, number four, describe the way in which lichens have evolved just based on the evolution. Describe which kingdom of life. So, what ended up happening, just like everywhere from life, they uh, came, um, lichens ended up coming out of water, uh, mostly hanging on to the oxygen in the water, um, having to be in moist environments. Um, mm. 
they were they evolved and survived because they were very adaptable. They came from the sea depths and then they eventually evolved to where they can grow on rocks and evolved um, alongside plants and fungi similar. So it used to be thought that plants were uh, that plants uh, evolved after lynchings, but then new evidence came out to describe that plants were around way before lynchings. So they evolved, and while they are similar, um, I'd say if we were to put them in a kingdom, just because of what they need to grow, uh, just like fungi, like yeah, they are similar to plants, but you know, so are a lot of fungi. So where I put them would probably be the um, uh, would be in the fungi kingdom.